Hi, hello viewers, welcome back to my channel once again. This is Darren. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how to turn all of your web applications into desktop applications. Just do it once using Electron.js and use it as many as platforms you uh, need. It can be a Ubuntu, it can be a Linux, it can be Windows. It works, it can be Mac, it works in multiple operating systems. So, let's get started and see how to turn your web app into desktop applications. As you can see, I'm just having a simple index.html. This is a Bootstrap 5 uh, sample template, it shows hello world. You can see the output on the right hand side. I've just mentioned this hello world. Now we can just let's consider this as a, a web application. Now we're gonna turn this into a desktop application. For it, we have to create a package.json uh, by using npm and uh, we have to install some more packages regarding Electron. From it, we can turn this into the desktop app. For it, first, in a terminal, for your information, this whole Visual Studio code is used to create it by Electron J. So it's more efficient and most preferred to create desktop apps nowadays. So in it, npm init, if you say hyphen y, we don't want to uh, initiated by manually entering all your necessary details. So click enter. Now the package.json file has been created. Now just get into install npm install electron enter. Now the package has been created successfully. When you see the package.json Let's close it and open it up. You'll see the Electron 13.0.1 version has been installed. In this, we have to do some more tweak. We are gonna start the desktop application, uh, initiated this npm start function. So we have to configure the npm start function first. So instruct test, start, go ahead, just skip. Electron dot. It will initiate the Electron uh, desktop application at the moment you say npm start. So let's save it. Most importantly, we have to create one main.js file that has to be here instead of the main.js. That should be a starting file for this our, for our application. So you can create, you can mention this as main.js, then create one file called main.js. In this file, just implement app and browser window by Electron. You have you need a URL and you need a path as well. So I'm just declaring a variable and I'm declaring a function called create window. In this create window function has the window size, background color, it should be a height and width, and the loading URL, the loading URL from the path, directory name, and your index page. Your index page comes from here. This is what we're gonna show in our desktop app. So uh, you have to mention this index page as well. And when go close, we have to set this variable as null. This is to debug once you uncomment it, you can see uh, the debug controls as you see in a Chrome browser. So let's be it. And when the app is ready, we have to call this create window function. And when the app is closed, we have to call the function depends upon the platforms. If you create this, Darwin uh, is emphasis this is an iOS functionality. When the Windows All Flows function triggers, it should quit our application. Same as way, when the function activated on Windows, we have to create as create window. This is what we have to do in the main.js. Now we can run it and see how it's gonna happen. Before that, just try to do npm install. Make sure all your packages installed perfectly. Everything is done. Now let's say npm.start 
it will build our application. Here we go. This is our desktop application. This is a title, as we mentioned in index.html, and this is your web application. It normally what it is doing is the index.html page is rendering inside this desktop application as a web view. So uh, you can create all of your web application in, uh, to a desktop application by the same way. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this would be helpful. If you have any questions, just uh, message me directly in my Facebook page, Code with the Rans, or else you just comment me as soon as possible. I can reply you. Just like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and share as much as possible if you find this is useful to your friends. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get this video updates. Thanks a lot.